should you be eating animal protein or plant-based protein? And I want to discuss kind of pros and cons of both of them. Um, we're going to first talk about animal protein. So animal protein in itself is more bioavailable and bioavailability is essentially the um, ability for your body to take in a certain nutrient, absorb it, and use it for everything it needs to. So for protein, for example, um, that's going to be used for cellular repair and helping to build all the structures in our body. So it can easily be done with that. Um, also protein too, another pro of protein is that it is mostly complete proteins. If you're not aware with it, uh, protein actually can be incomplete, as in um, it doesn't have all the amino acids that you need for your overall health and longevity of your body. So animal protein basically has all the amino acids in it. Uh, plant proteins is kind of the opposite, so it's not quite the same. Um, so because of this, you might not need as much total protein in your overall diet if you are consuming animal proteins. Um, the one con that I will say with this is that if you are eating sources of animal protein that do are, have a lot of saturated fat, they're high in saturated fat, for example, this could lead to some deleterious health effects down the road, uh, increasing your chances of LDL developing in your body, which can increase the likelihood of chronic disease, specifically from heart disease and all those different things. So animal protein is totally okay. It's complete. It has all the essential amino acids for the most part that you need. Um, also too, it's um, easier if you're trying to get more protein and you find it hard to eat a lot of food. This might be a better option for you because the amount of food you need to eat, specifically the amount of protein you need to eat with plant-based protein is much more higher because those animal proteins are not complete. So speaking about uh, plant proteins more specifically, um, kind of we actually just touched on a lot of this, but um, plant proteins do have a lot of great micronutrients that animal proteins might not have. So these vitamins and minerals that we know are very important for our overall health and longevity. On top of that, fiber is something that you can't find in protein. So if you're eating plant proteins, for example, you are getting um, some extra fiber and all these micronutrients. With that said though, and I do have a typo on this, um, it does lack certain animal nutrients. In the notes here, I put it lacks uh, certain plant nutrients, so I apologize that. It does lack certain animal nutrients. Uh, B12 is the one I have, for example. Um, so if you are trying to eat mostly plant-based options, you might need to supplement with uh, B12, for example. Um, plant proteins are totally okay though, they're totally great. The thing about it is though, since they're not a complete source of protein, you might need to eat a little bit more overall um, of these plant-based proteins. And then you should also try to eat varying sources of plant-based proteins because some plant-based proteins have a higher concentration of amino acids um, than the other ones. So for example, people always talk about maybe eating rice and beans together. Um, that is because rice has some different plant proteins and beans have a totally opposite uh, set of plant proteins. Together, they make complete proteins. But if you think about the overall amount of calories and protein you get from it, it's not a lot even if they are complete. So you would need to eat a lot more food uh, in general. So um, both of them are good to consume. Both of them are okay to consume. Just know um, you might need to eat a little bit more if you're eating from plant-based sources. And if you're eating from animal sources, trying to make it lean is probably gonna be your best option.